Yo, 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 guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Marijuana Essay Weekly. Today we have a super interesting show and we're going to be chatting about psychedelics. <laughs> so this is, this is uh, uh, what do you, I don't know, Mushrooms Essay Weekly. Uh, <laughs> new podcast. <laughs> Magic Mushrooms Essay Weekly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> psychedelics Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking about it the other day and... Um, it's, I mean, there has been a, lot, a bit of movement uh, internationally in terms of like what's going on, um, what the, you know, what, what the new laws and legislations are going to be around it. And because we've just not just come through, but we're going through the whole thing with cannabis and different states are now realizing, um, oh, uh, well, countries and states are now realizing that it's now, you know, something that's legal and, you know, they were they were wrong about the past and now you know so now obviously i think a lot of people are going to realize that uh mushrooms are also okay um and i think it's going to follow the exact same way maybe not as much hype because i don't think everyone want, like daily mushroom consumption is not as popular as like daily um cannabis consumption yeah <laughs> and psychedelics and psychedelics in an essence are like slightly more <laughs> difficult to consume because of the way that they affect you you know it's not as easy as cannabis like minor cannabis consumption like psychedelics have a far more prolific effect so i think i think it makes them a little bit more, bit more like oomph. sort of uh, yeah, a bit more out there for some people who are a bit scared and and whatever and everyone's had like a you know there's the you know there's misinformation so if you don't have the correct mm. information you might not know what you're getting yourself into and like some psychedelics have been you know used as tools to fight against certain movements like the lsd mm. movement in in america you know it was heavily heavily politicized so yeah interesting topic something which we low-key passionate about <laughs> <laughs> So we thought we'd put it out to you guys and see what the what the community thinks. But uh, you know there is a global movement towards uh, specifically psilocybin. So far, um, mm. you know uh, it's it's uh, it has a, it's seemingly has antidepressant properties and can be used you know medicinally. And a scheduled substance is something that has little or no medicinal effects. And that's basically mm. where you know the movement is coming is starting it is a substance that does have medicinal effects uh it's not maybe scientifically proven as yet but it's uh socially proven <laughs> and um uh, yeah, i'm really excited <laughs> i'm really excited to see what's going to happen in south africa related to it mm. what's happening in south africa i know there's a big scene myself you know something i'm interested in um but uh yeah lots of updates in that chat. Yeah, on on the essay side. Um, oh, before we get into, we've got some updates with uh, La YouTube channel. Um, we got some cool link trees back today from um, appeals so that did, we did. It we appear appeal. back. Did it appear back in all the in all the videos? Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. So it was. Uh, we couldn't remove it because it was grayed out. Um, so like, what they did is they flagged all of our links to like this is our link tree. You know, the tree. They killed the tree when they killed our links. <laughs> And like we only have one tree, so it's like you know YouTube really beca you know it, it is as much of it's like we we love doing this, but it is a bit of a like a, a marketing endeavor, and you know we need to communicate our brand and whatnot. But when yeah, they kill the tree, we're busy. yeah, you know, yeah, it's multiple faucets. You need to know where to. It's the tree to direct you. how to it's find the central us. nervous system. <laughs> yeah, if, if you've got questions or whatnot, it had all of our telephone numbers, email addresses, and whatnot. And they killed they killed the tree. Um, and then like seven months later today, we got 49 emails from YouTube saying like, oh, your appeal is, uh, has been accepted um, and we agree that your link wasn't a bad link. Oh now God. that gives me the thrills because imagine that email was the Ooh. other side and it was like 49, 49 strikes. strikes. <laughs> they would have, that, so that's how they do it. They yeah. they, they hit you on something, you appeal mm. it, and if you're in the wrong, they just hit you with th your three consecutive strikes and you're done. We yeah. felt it today. We were yeah. sitting in that interesting meeting with Westgro, <laughs> like I'm like watching this and then all of a sudden my PC is like, ping, 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 ping. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> and I saw YouTube compliance or yeah. something like that. And I was like, oh no, but good that's news. Awesome. Good news. Yeah. Good news on yeah. that front. We're also moving to, uh, we've got a new email sign up link, or it's uh, like our big email mailer. Um, and we're just going to be getting, uh, we're going to be rallying a bit of love for the email mailer. Uh, it's not, you know, we, we put a lot of effort into our, our mails that go out. It's not a frequent mailer. 
um, maybe like most for a month. Um, but they've got all of our updates, coupons, uh, early release videos, uh, just like interesting articles that are on the website that you maybe don't see on the YouTube. And just like, yeah, it's 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 a very nice mailer. We make sure we make it kind of funny and cool and, and like spiffy. It's not just like a sales thing everyone's hand yeah, it's, it's a <laughs> yeah it's a lifestyle update and you know like like we were saying we do lots more than just youtube and there's a there's other things which we think could be of interest uh so we wanted to you know for have a way to consolidate it all and to keep mm. you updated and also everyone's busy you know if you miss something um you know we will we'll keep you updated with this with the spicy information with the live q and a's as well which is becoming popular you know just so that mm. people don't miss out because sometimes we feel that we don't like manage to get all the communications across to ev all the different you know Early channels so, yeah exactly so that everyone stands a fair chance to participate so we thought this was a nice way to consolidate and we've developed a really cool sort of you know like andy said a really nice uh, information update and it's we're not we're not spam guys we spam mm. you with the youtube videos but not <laughs> 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 so yeah guys we don't get we obviously don't get monetized for any of these videos so just like pop over there and just give us your email address that that kind of means the world to us um but yeah i was just about to tell dean a really funny story about psychedelics <laughs> and um then i was like well like he hadn't heard the story so i was like let me let me uh, wait till the show starts so anyway so we were talking about psychedelics and like this whole thing about s say and the legalization of it, it it's kind of there's a lady that's sort of at the forefront of it um and what happened is in somerset west where we grew up uh there was this like elderly lady that was like living quite close to uh another friend of ours and basically the she was a shaman so she, or like you know she was she would lead lead mushroom trips and it, she had one class and they got together they took their mushrooms and basically was an overnight thing and like the one guy like obviously he somehow escaped the compound <laughs> and then he, <laughs> and then he, he, <laughs> he walked him he walked himself to the police station um and like completely out of it like full you know like transition you know transcendent trip I, I don't like he some it's not far it's like if you just walk downhill you you end up at the police station and um, he, he obviously then the police came and like raided all these people while they like mid trip and it were you know, like very very uh... anyway they put this like elderly lady in jail. Um, there's a photo of her like in the cell like you know doing like one of these, uh, which is quite... <laughs> probably tripping balls still. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. She was supervised. She was probably. Maybe she was on like a mic. No, but I know but that like shamans in South America will like partake with you mm. so they can be like on the same level. On the to same party. level. <laughs> but maybe she, maybe she does it differently. <laughs> so she was uh, from day one. She was just never, ever, ever going to stop what she was doing. Um, she basically went through. Uh, she got bail. She stayed a, 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 a like on bail for many sort of years and eventually what happened she she never actually got forgiven um you know she just never got wiped out she just carried on she carried on doing her mushroom ceremonies and it's still to this day she's finding it she's finding it now in high court similar to um i think it's even in the constitutional court similar to how they did with cannabis because what they're arguing is we got the right to smoke cannabis in our own homes as private citizens because we, it's our body, we choose what we want to put inside of it in yeah, our so own private space. They set precedent with yeah. cannabis and now, exactly. now they're coming on it with the same thing, you know. Exactly. She wasn't doing, then they weren't doing any harm to anyone except mm -hmm. for in the, uh, in the law's eyes themselves, yeah. you know. So that's, uh, so the precedent is there and it has merit, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be hard. And I also saw Schindler's attorneys are involved as yeah. well with yeah. the case which is exciting as well i mean we know they got the the the, the skill and the know-how to convince the gavi so <laughs> yeah and it's it's i mean that's the exact thing i mean how this is going to happen um they have very little precedent i mean we all try to get schindlers on to talk a little bit about what they're doing um but they have very little precedent for 
what they are um you know how do you, you can't fight it you've just the, the constitutional ruling says we have the right to put whatever we want in our bodies in our own private space i mean how's yeah. the government how are they going to flip this i mean like okay. I don't do you know. think they'll keep pushing towards sort of like you know the different you know like, like they did in Portugal it's proven that if you decriminalize it will drop usage you know and it allows for easier control so do you think the government do you think that different parties will keep pushing towards you know decriminalization so that people can get treatment in our country if they are addicted to something over over <clears throat> you know keeping it criminalized or do you think our police state reigns too hard to to ever to ever get through to that point because i mean I, I mean like sitting in on that meeting today the government came with some pretty yeah. interesting stuff you know they we, we always we always sit back and say they're not doing anything but, you know <laughs> <laughs> but they are obviously uh, intelligent people in the in okay the, but to be government. fair that was the health profession council they are doing a, a pretty decent job at no but well, yeah yeah I mean, so, they consult, con- consulted a lot. But, yeah. you know, it, 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 plant medicines are, are very popular with in the age of information. I mean, the government, yeah. the, 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 you can't really lie about what things are anymore. You can Google for yourself and go and get all the information at hand, you know. So misinformation is less. So to drive through votes like they have in America with uh, the decriminalization of psilocybin, you know, it's gonna, it's much easier now than ever to get the information to the right people. And our generation believes more in natural, natural plant medicines Mm. than, than the pharmaceuticals, you know? So, I mean, pharmaceuticals are great and they have their place, but you also want to be able to, you know, enlighten your mind if you do want to do that. (laughs) Well, yeah, that's the whole point. If you want to, who cares what you're doing it for? If you want to, you know, if you want to just like, connect with lost people if you just want to like dick around for the evening and relax it's yeah it's there's it shouldn't be a thing that the government's trying to control i mean it's like it's proven in in a lot of the sort of uh first world countries where they've legalized um hard drugs as well and they've seen a decrease in drug usage because the more you try to restrict it and the more like you know you you create a black market you create uh you know cartels you create sort of uh, sicknesses and illnesses and you have like a, a anti you know get better culture it's just a punishment yeah, culture yeah and then there's the the excitement of doing something illegal which like drives a lot of people yeah, to, <laughs> to be honest to yeah. try an illegal substance you know and like i always think back to 2014 when i was in amsterdam and i uh you know, I knew a local from a friend of mine that I'd met in South Africa. So he was showing me around and it, like, he was like, hardly anyone smokes, you know, it's not really a big thing where they've had weed normalized for so long, you know, coffee shops have been there for ages. It's not a big thing. So it's not really, it's not really, I suppose, uh, glorified as hard because mm. it's just normalized, you know? So mm. if you want to do it, you'll do it, but you're not going to go and do it for the sake of doing it because it's normalized, you know? Yeah. So that's the kind of same mindset with decriminalization across the board. Um, that's how I got into smoking ciggies. It was just like, it's just a like taboo uh, sort of thing. It's like, you know, it's obviously restricted. You can't like drinking as well. I think a lot of the thrill was it is like, you can't do it because you're not, you know, it's you're not 18. Yeah. So it's like, there's a thrill to so it. So there's the thrill of like scoring a, a court from <laughs> the bottle store with your like yeah. fake ID. <laughs> uh, not encouraging anyone to do that. <laughs> Just made on like Microsoft Paint and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think it's the same. But with the psychedelic movement, you know, mm. it's proven psilocybin is going through through trials in 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 America. I know Tim Ferriss was speaking about it quite a bit on a mm. podcast I was listening to a while back. You know, there's lots of money being investment invested, and a lot of high end professionals these days are speaking more op- openly about microdosing and the usages of you know specifically mm. psilocybin for depression uh, yeah. i think all psychedelics have their space in in that front you know to allow you to work through issues that you have within yourself and people will always say oh but you'll have the bad trip but a bad trip is related to you know mm. the usage of something that is a medicine for your mind you know so i think more and more people <laughs> under- <laughs> if your mind's fucked you're gonna have a hard time to deal with it <laughs> And it gives you a different perspective on your own life, you know. You operate in, 
you operate going forwards constantly and it's sometimes nice to look at yourself from the side to see what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about like some like next level doses, like seeing yourself from the third person. <laughs> no, but I just mean with the way that you with the way that you think, you know. Yeah, no, it does. It um um I've tried uh back in SA I tried some microdosing um for like a week or two. Um and it kind of just like it can kind of break the repetitiveness about your day i mean for me it wasn't like the most like i wasn't more productive or anything like that if anything i was probably a little bit like more formal because i was just like find shit funny and like end up i don't know just get like you're just a bit too like not focused on hard work um i could maybe imagine like in sales and stuff it could be like that but yeah anyway so and create in the creative side maybe not so much maybe just like bang it all out yeah yeah (laughs) so i mean it's it's uh but yeah people i mean like you know it should be fair for people to try it it's not gonna you know it's not doing anyone harm and like that's what uh jules and and myrtle always saying um you know it's like a victimless crime like growing weed and smoking it at home there's a crime according to the police but no victims yeah like there's no one there's no victims, you know, maybe like the hard drugs, you could say is there's the victim of, you know, sort of uh, black market and, you know, like unable to get health treatments for it and this and that. But that's a victim of illegality, not of the yeah, product. With this, that's also itself. by virtue of the government making those decisions and fair. Every other country in the world made those decisions to outright ban cannabis um, and outright ban uh, hard drugs and this and that. Well, that's what makes it difficult for especially small kind third world countries to try and push agendas on stuff like this because they can't because it's prescribed even like back to that meeting today it was you know how many licenses will be able to give out <laughs> oh, prescribed by yeah. a global precedent you know so things are prescribed you're small mm. south africa you have 10 you yeah. small south africa you may not legalize mushrooms at all us as the large powers do you know yeah so yeah it's a difficult it's a, and, and then you go against sort of you, you go against the global powers so i mean it's it's been <laughs> back to conspiracy theories yeah. <laughs> i'm just saying data as we get older and we keep doing this i feel like we are getting we are those you know like we you know like you look at people and you're like fuck they you know they've been in this marijuana game for too long they're getting cooked you know like thinking of all these like you know <laughs> politics and conspiracies and shit but it is it's like there's so it there's, comes back to it. it there's so many powers like that which are um it's not powers but it's just like they are lobbying they are businesses like as you get more into the business world you see the business interest in lobbying against the legalization of cannabis lobbying against legalization of mushrooms it's not profitable for some people but you can look at cigarettes it's proven science like if you go look back at cigarettes back when cigarettes when everyone was puffing they'd get doctors on the tv and smoke marlboro it's good for you doctor approved you know and that was lobbying and if you look at oil like it's the same there's been like solid lobbying that you can go watch documentaries about so then all those same things which you if you just translate it to another industry is it really a conspiracy theory still (laughs) i do make up conspiracy theories for fun sometimes when we're just chatting though (laughs) that is a thrill it's like covid cures load shedding (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but these are that these are solid well thought out ones guys that i spent a mm. lot of time thinking about you know? and i mean it's <laughs> i'm sure a lot of you will a lot of you will agree but the i think i think you know le- i think cannabis recreational legalization isn't too far off in south africa mm. and i think sort of decriminalization especially of sort of more the plant medicines will be will be seen as well and i mean then there's also the plant medicines that the gavi doesn't even know about like san yeah. pedro cactuses which you can, just <laughs> grow in your... <laughs> you can just grow in your garden in an abundance and breed and chop and grow more you know so if you are interested there's you know we have uh, the the information is there to enlighten yeah. yourself and yeah. i would say as someone who's been interested you know for many years it is something that you can go and 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 get the information for yourself and to see if it is something for you i mean if cannabis has worked for you maybe something else will you know but it's it's all up to you to make the decision to do something for yourself Mm. 
You know, mm. you have to make sure you have the correct information going into something as always. Don't go in blind because psychedelics are powerful objects. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, obviously, like, don't do anything like illegal and shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not saying do anything, but we're saying the information is there if you want to get it for yourself, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, guys, I mean, leave us some comments. Let us know we're not uh, we're not too cooked in the industry. Um, you know, let us know your thoughts on legalize, legalization of, of psilocybin. Um, I suspect, like, okay, I suspect most of you watching this will probably agree. So definitely let us know if you disagree. Um, and just like a word or two, why not? Um, I would very much love to read that. And yeah, we'll put some polls out on Insta later and see what, see how many people um, agree with uh, or don't agree with legalization of psilocybin. I suspect it'll be like a ninety percent uh, vote yes. Um, but yeah, especially um, with our audience. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe our audience is a bit biased. Uh, we should maybe get some other pages to put the same poll up. But we say that now, it will still be interesting to see what exactly what it turns out. You know. Maybe we should put like reasons to keep it illegal and see, see what creative <laughs> things come up. Anyway, guys, it was a banger episode and really, really loved uh, catching up. Make sure to sign up to the email list and looking forward to chatting to you guys next week. Peace and love, guys. Cheers, guys.